Hi everybody, I'm Mike Lechen, Principal Technologist here at Cohesity. Today we're going to walk through what you, some of the issues are and some of the challenges on traditional file servers and NAS. Now we've got a lot of solutions around this, but before we even dig into what we can do as Cohesity to help with these issues, let's talk about some of that traditional NAS side of things. I'm going to start over here on what we would look at, maybe we'll call this tier zero to one. It's really your low latency, high performance data. Things that are really important databases or maybe some processing things that you have to have. From there, I've normally got a second tier here. This is gonna be tier two to three that's sitting on kind of a middle solution. Now the users are going to access these often the same. User goes in, they look at a solution and I've got files that are in a file share somewhere for them to look at. The user over here is using something like SMB or NFS to access these files. But where are these files really? Oftentimes, they're sitting down on this tier zero and tier one storage, but maybe you've got a second file share or the same that they're over here on some of this storage. Now, there's a lot of management that has to happen in this because you don't always want to have stuff in tier zero or tier one. Probably about 80 to 90% of your data doesn't actually get access very frequently over here. So why are you paying for that expensive low latency storage? Sometimes you can do a traditional method of data management where these files end up getting moved over to here. And say I add one in here and one here. Now that becomes secondary data, becomes that tier two, tier three style data. Now you notice I've got kind of the structure here. Now what you're used to probably is thinking, okay, from here, I'm gonna to go to Cohesity and I'll back it up. But we actually have this other feature built into our data platform, utilizing our smart file solution. Now smart files gives you quite a few different flexible things to do. Whether you wanna come off of it with NFS, or whether you want SMB, you can use both of them right off of the Cohesity platform. You may be familiar with that for some of the ways that we're able to do some of our instant mass recovery options. But for this situation, I just want to look at what our smart files are. And smart files allows us to have another share over here. Now I can present our own files out of here. And that's great. It gives you another place to present and have things like Active Directory authentication and integration, utilizing our global deduplication, utilizing our search capabilities. But really, I want to fix this issue. And one of the big features that we're able to do with this is something that we call our NAS stubbing feature. Now, if I'm taking data that's sitting here and traditionally having to wait, copy it over to here, and then maybe take it to a backup, I want to speed that up. I want to find another better way to do this. And doing that, I'm going to take this file here and just stub it. And the way that I stub it is using a policy driven engine. Now that policy will say this data hasn't been touched in say two months and is a larger file. So don't leave it there. Just create a stub or a sim link on here and move that file right over to here. Now that user is still accessing it from the same place. They think they're getting it here. That's what that share looks like. But what they're really doing is pulling it off of a much more cost-effective solution. Same thing for happen right here as well. I can put a couple of these. You can do it from multiple different solutions. So whether you've got an Isilon and a NetApp, doesn't matter. Maybe it's a Windows server. You can actually use anything that uses those standard protocols with NFS or SMB to do the stubbing. Now that's not all of it though. Now that I have things over here, Think about how much less data I'm backing up. Can I hit my backup windows on my tier zero, tier one stuff now? Of course I can because it's a lot less data. I can do it much more efficiently. I don't need to spend the cost of expanding this out. Now I can now back up utilizing the same data platform that we're used to. And not only can I have these files here, but I can then also replicate them off to another Cohesity box someplace or Maybe they go out 
to the cloud, to one of our cloud edition solutions. Now I can back up and archive all of this out here that's secondary. It is that data that you're not looking for tier zero, tier one performance on, and that low latency. There's no reason to use all of that space and spend extra money there when you have a solution that can actually do a lot more for you already built into the QEC data platform. So following these stubs, remember that user's gonna come in, they still think they're seeing the same thing, but they're accessing files here, they're accessing files here, but they're actually just those some links and stubs and they're opening them over here and they open them directly off of the Cohesi platform. That's what Cohesi Smart Files can do for you. Truly improve the way that you do data management. Redefine that solution and stop making it all manual. Stop having to add multiple tiers. You can now go directly from tier zero over to the Cohesi Smart File platform, giving you true data management and redefined. Thanks for joining us.